Hi guys. So this is the video on SOAR where I'm going to log in for the first time after installing SOAR. I have installed SOAR, a Splunk SOAR on Linux uh, Red Hat machine, RHEL 7. Uh, so I'm going to log into this for the first time. So for that, uh, the default user will be uh, soar local admin and password is password. Make sure you change the password after logging in. So this is, this is default password. Hit login. So it will redirect you to a Splunk portal. Now, definitely it will ask for some terms and condition license. Then you need to review it. Uh, once you click over here, it will, you read, read everything over here. And once you read it, just click on accept licenses. After that, just click on, got it. And if you want to set up, uh, you want to get uh, start with the tour, so the tour, you can do it. So let's do that. What all things it covers. So it will say generate event. So work by running a playbook to execute action on incoming events so how many events do you want to ingest if you want to ingest uh, some of the events uh, i i will say five events it is generating events now you can see the events view events okay So we can see, we can view the event. Now, investigation, the investigation page bring event data and soft tool together into one centralized view. Bringing automation. Congratulations, you have successfully run first. Let's see what the playbook looks, looks like. So view the playbook. Currently there is, maybe there is no applications are installed, no asset is configured. So this is showing this. Now view playbook. Once you click on playbook, it will redirect to the playbook editor. There you can see what, what playbook is there. So I will click. So that is done now now it will once i say configure splunk it will redirect to configuring splunk where you can uh, put your password change your password as i mentioned there is a default password so make sure you change the password then company name abc this is a B C at A B C URL. You need to give the URL for your source URL. So I'm giving um, URL of source instance. Save it. Configure data data source if you have any data source configure it will not show choose your data source have more than one data sources no problem you can add them later so currently there is nothing is installed because this is uh, 
style version and because of that this is not uh, the, the configuration option is not there so let's skip to the onboarding once you do the skip to the onboarding it will redirect you to the main page the home page the home page has a multiple uh, multiple uh, home page is kind of a dashboard which provide you overview of your entire store platform or entire organization where it has automation ROI Let, let's let's start with the, all the options what you have or uh, rather you can say it's a, a walkthrough of uh, so GUI so interface so as as uh, if anybody uh, have worked on Splunk Splunk has uh, there is a there is a, there is a functionality where you can redirect by clicking on Splunk uh, in a Splunk similar to this in Soar as well. When you click on uh, Soar, it will redirect to the home page. Now this is and also you can search anything on the on Soar. Like if you want to do some kind of a searching event, so it will show events events uh, so it is a lightweight uh, search it installed on lightweight uh, search it installed on shore so again I'll, so that search engine uh, run the search and provide you the data provide you the result the next next one is this is the name of uh, name of user version we show version or the name of user this is instance name if you want you can change the instance name this is version what version is installed uh, these are the notification whatever notification the user has notification general notification or mention notification I need not to go in detail and mention notification now this is uh, the user uh, user details uh, by which on on uh, by which you are uh, logging to so now it has account configuration where you can change the name uh, you cannot change the name but you can provide email address first name last name uh, and so on notification change you can you can uh, have the notification uh, event or task assigned to me so once the event or a task assigned to you it will get notify event sla expires event sla expired expiring soon expired event assigned to you collaboration require a uh, collaboration notification and this is only for my my events which is assigned to you and all the events if you want to uh, it, it, uh, it is very very useful when in terms of uh, SLA expiring soon or SLA expired so this if you want you can enable it change the password if you want to change the password you can change it make sure you change the password uh, and that's it if you want you can save it so I'll go to home page so now this part is done this is uh, this is one of the bar where you can uh, have all the all the menus listed over here I will I will talk in detail for these menus now the time picker default is seven seven days now if you change it according to this it will change automatically the dashboard will get changed automatically now if you come to showing 
uh, it will show all the sources, all the e uh, events coming from the, all the sources. Now uh, you can choose any of the sources like generator. If you click over here, it will trigger and uh, it will update the dashboard events and so on i click on all so this is about showing how how uh, the dashboard is presented now <coughs> showing for users what all users uh, for which you want to update the dashboard so currently there is only one user myself so it will show the data according to you so in production or in, in other environment, uh, it will show, it will list all the users which is which is there and you can choose the data as per the user. And then there is an option of change, changing the lookout for, uh, look and feel of this dashboard. Uh, if you want to remove any of the panel, remove, uh, include any of the panel, you can do it. By default, everything is included. I want to remove. You can delete. Okay, this is about the options which we have, and uh, this is the dashboard where, uh, in the first panel, it shows the automation ROI summary, ROI return of investment, where it has uh, uh, number of resolved event mean dwell time, mean time to resolve, FTE gain, time saved and dollar. This is very important for management people. So it will again show in the next next dashboard what all open events are, are there, workload is there currently. Uh, there is nothing is assigned to, uh, to anyone so it will uh, it will not show anything. Let, let me assign some event to myself. And it will not show here, it will show in generate. So Okay, this is done. Now, if I go one more, so this is assigned. If you can see, this is assigned. Now, if we go to ROI dashboard, so workload say this user, this particular user has one. So, similarly. And this workload it will show the details Sim and now this has also changed as i, I as i uh, mm, select my myself so it will show uh, the data related to me now i will go back to all the events so one is assigned and unresolved events it will show uh, events by status so this is one i am meeting yeah so this this is showing all the all the open events now if you go down it will show total playbook and action uh, run one playbook when uh, if you remember when i started i ran, ran a playbook dummy playbook and in that playbook five actions are assigned similarly in data source section uh, section it will show uh, the data source so 
it has a dummy data source that is generate generator it has create uh, it has created few few event in the uh, so again uh, event it will show the details uh, as per label as per severity sensitivity and status what are the status are there then execute playbooks and actions how many playbooks are uh, executed what is the average time how many actions are executed what is the average time as a health currently there is no asset configured so it will not show anything so pending for approvals whenever uh, uh, whenever uh, we required any approval for any action so it will ask for it will it will listed here so accordingly you can uh, you can manage the user that you can notify them that this, these uh, events are pending for this these actions are pending for a, approval so please have a look on that incoming data sources it will show incoming data so new data sources resolve data sources ROI status definitely it will show R saved event resolved action run SLA breach currently there is no breach SLA SLA average it shows whatever the SLA is there artifacts how many artifacts it uh, one event event holds so if you click on that it will show you the artifacts details so when you go to artifact tabs it will show about the artifact. four artifacts are there if you drill down to it it will show all the all the fields over here let's go back i will i will uh, uh, talk in detail with uh, for all the all the things just just uh, this lecture is to give you uh, a brief and an overview about uh, GUI and how to log in. Who, whoever is logging in for the first time, uh, so this video can help them to understand uh, what all options or what all dashboards are there. So again performance how how uh, your team is performing how individual is performing or how how uh, overall things are there mean time to resolve max time to resolve mean time to try edge mean dual time so also it has active and total playbooks total playbooks it's by default i have not created any playbook this 130 uh, uh, 153 uh, playbooks came by default and uh, currently there is zero playbooks are activated so this is overview of about about ROI dashboard or or home home dashboard this is mainly used for the management purpose who want the uh, high level overview of their organization their events how it is flowing and everything so this is this is very beneficial for a uh, management purpose managers or executive level that uh, that that will give you overall posture about uh, about the automation automation things we'll talk in detail about these uh, all the options which we have so I, I guess this this uh, has given a brief about how uh, how uh, the dashboard look like so what all options are uh, what all interface are there how to use the things and all so thanks a lot for watching the video have a good day